the yep, gallon. Was it, uh, some and Hank knew for a for a hired man. Mm -hmm, and that's right. Hank knew he was middling around with Dorothy. And my dad had to step in. He says, You let that girl alone. He was and he wanted the money, you know. So Uncle Bill and okay. my dad they went what? Hank knew was hired man there. At at dad's. Yes. And he was going he was yes, around yes, north. Yeah. See? And Uncle Bill and my dad seen that. It was, wasn't good. And they kicked his ass out, you know. Okay. D dad literally had grandma and sure. and Dorothy and Mark to take care of at sixteen. Yeah. You know, because his dad was a car with a two two twenty five bunker. He was yeah. sixteen years old. Yeah. And he picked corn all over. Yeah. And he, Two rows uh, on there, picker. Then uh -huh. and my, my dad and Bill, they come down and help him. He did know how to plant corn or not. They planted I'm all the corn. I'm being replaced by an immigrant. Everything. I tell you. I'm going to check into this, this way that I get. I know the Blairs real well. I've done Steve business on, with them like for 50 Steve years. There's yeah, another damn Blair. <clears throat> yep. County Schoolhouse. Yep. My dad was on the board. And they got free. Free, uh, they could have it. No, uh, I, I know what you're talking about. about. <laughs> see it, so I remember that just like this. I wasn't very old, probably 15 at the most. I remember that. Okay. That but I remember when they built the floor out there. I remember you being in the parade. It was in Carol Parade. It was not in the new one, Roselle. No, something was Carol. Okay, that's it. Okay. But I don't know. It would have been too big to move. Well, that'd be yeah. 70, no, that is. 70 years? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, he got it to a certain point, and then, yeah. he, then they tore the rest out yeah. and burned it. He took all the good stuff. They never moved it. What did they do? Mm -hmm. They gutted it. He tore it down, but whatever was left. He, he kept it. <laughs> the good, good stuff. And good stuff. <laughs> See that kindergarten school in Townland there, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Snyder took that all the way down. That was a yeah. pretty fair sized building. What's Snyder's? Henry. Kindergarten Henry. school. Timberland? Yeah. And did you ever work on it? some more coffee? No, I didn't. So who put up, the, who put up the, the fence all the way around the cemetery then? The, oh, that was up before my time. So was that generational? It was there? It was kind of part of... Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. And it was all the way down from the church all the way up. And if you jumped over that fence, your ass was in trouble. Yeah. There I mean, was a lot of iron fence all the way around. I know. Like oh, yeah. It was around 10 acres. And then down by, down by my place, that's where the first, when they went around for the procession, Yeah. that's where the first one was, and the other one is way up in the corner yeah. over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, what they call 40 hours or whatever, yeah. it was a procession. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But right on my corner, that's where the first one was. Yeah. And the other one was clean up on the other side about where uh, Storm is. And the rod iron right. fence. Rod yeah. iron fence was there before yeah, I was, was all, there. That was all the way around. That could have been rogation days when they did that. Probably. I saw they had that. that. Of course you call it. It was before. Huck. That fence was there when I, we went to school. Because if we jumped yeah. over that fence, Father Antover, that was our ass kick, boy. We, <laughs> well, one time, was one time was it was snowing real bad. So our, my class had some pretty honored guys in it. So we thought we'd, we'd go up into church. So we went up to church. And uh, the first thing, well, who's going to go up on the choir? Well, three or four of them went up on the choir, and, and uh, <coughs> one of them went on the pulpit, and two of them was mass servers. Well, Cleta Gessner was on the pulpit, and he said, In a little while I shall see you, and a little while I shall not see you. Pretty soon Father Antover come in, he said, In a little while I want to see all you guys over my <laughs> See all you guys. Yeah, right. come out really See, smart. that's what I didn't we're know. I like didn't seven. know what that was. Like it was for Carol. It, it wasn't was Carol. Was Carol. No, I knew. It was Carol. It wasn't Roselle. It was Carol Centennial. Yeah. 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 But I don't know what year it been. But well, I, I can figure that out. Anyway, I just didn't know why it was built. It was probably in you know 45 or something like that. I'd been about that's 12, 13, 14 years old. So all of you were on that float at that time? I think so, yeah. But I can't okay. remember what year it was. A long time ago. I wasn't well, very old, I know that. See, that's why I, there's nobody on it. I would say it's 70 years ago, probably. That would be right. That would be right. That's that's what that would float say looks about like. 70 years ago. I was about 15 years old when I was on 14, probably. 
So it been kind of the same ones that were it doing was, it was it was a I don't know what it was it what kind of centennial what Carol had, but it was it must have been a years. number of years or yeah, so, something years then, you know. that was uh, I've seen the float. I just didn't know oh, anything yeah, about it. I remember it. it. I was on it. I remember that. Yeah. Was there a queen on it? It looked like a bar float. It was a jail. Jail float? Yeah. yeah. Jail. Okay. Jail, jail. And he died down there. About how old was he when he died? 30. 30? 30 some? Yeah. It's on, it's a, be on his tombstone. It's on his tombstone. Yeah, that I know. But. 30 some. He was. He was bright enough to know. He was no dummy. No, he wasn't dummy. He was, he was bright enough, but he no, was. He was. It just didn't take much to set him off. No, he, he was, was real bullheaded. He was bullheaded. He, 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 he could just well, well, get well, 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 pissed off well, just after work. I know Grandma would say he's in his room. Stay away. Yeah, well, yeah. He was. He was. He. He'd get mad. Well, he was big and husky. Oh, oh one time. Yeah, one time. 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 He'd get pissed off. He'd leave. He'd just go home. He, he would it. snap so, that one. Yeah, yeah, he'd snap. He had yeah. a bad temper. Yeah, he'd run. He, he would, he'd never stay. But he was a real good guy. To, he was just a hell of a good guy. He sat down that well down there in the corner. Well, well, the thing is, uh, the people picked on him because he, he was not... Okay, so was he born in a way like that, or did something happen? Was he born that way? That's the way he was born. You remember Wilby Riesenberg? Yeah. You remember Wilby Riesenberg? Oh, yeah. Okay. But he was built like Wilby. Why not? He ate some goddamn green apples and had color of orange. Oh, that's right. I was the advisor of that. We, he died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Joe died. No, Mark. Mark. Died. This, we went to Mark's funeral, and then we went to see how well Oakens how they were doing on the house. And uh, I got the food out. What was his name? Mary, he was married to Sally's Zubride for, for Lawrence Oakland. Yeah. He was sitting in the closet crying. His wife was dying. She was only in her 20s, you know. Yeah. That's how I remember Mark's funeral that day. Because we went over there to check the house after the funeral. And here it was. And that Zubrod was sitting in the closet eating his lunch and crying. Oh. So that was the year that he died. Yeah. 58, wasn't it? We, we moved in in 50. We built the house in 50, yeah. Yeah. And we moved in in that fall. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. He was born the year before. He came back to my place. And how he died more in the. It was warm weather, I remember. I don't remember. Ernie built the house the year before. He almost that I don't know. That's Joe that died then? Huh? Who died at that time? Mark died. Mark died at that time. Yeah. In 50? Uh, no, I remember Mark. Do you? Yeah, so it was in 50. It was after that. I was born in 51. Oh, okay. Well, I remember we came from his funeral and we were looking at the house. See what they were okay. Yeah. See, I remember... I remember Mark. But Grandma... He was a good guy. Oh, I know that, but I've just said I know stories too. Well, <laughs> the snowmobile. I, all I know, I, know I was pretty close to him. He never was without a camera, and he never was without, without a book. He always wrote something down every day. What he did, you could. Uh, I don't know. You could. If you get a hold of that book, he could tell you where he was yesterday and the day before. And, and then he had a camera. He'd always take pictures. Yeah, just right to the right. And, and a, if he did mm -hmm. something wrong, he had a picture of that. Well, I remember when they got married. I wasn't very old, but I know they were in a chicken house. Yeah. Where they, where they had this reception deal. 
I was probably seven, eight years. I, I might have been a little older than that, but I can remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> North of Elver on the east side of the road. Yep. I can tell you about that. They had some, they had some, they had some Persian cats. Uh, and Henry Potter had some Persian cats out there. And when Ernie got married, we fed them Persian cats whiskey and they got just drunk and just talked. <laughs> Tell me about the plays you guys did. <coughs> oh, we had a oh, lot of plays. Uh, I, the mock wedding. Mock wedding. Yeah, those oh, yeah. were no, the plays in the plays we that in the, the hall. In the hall. Yeah. Yeah. The plays in the hall. The right. plays in the hall, there was probably about 25 of us, or a little bit more. You've got a and picture somewhere, don't you? What? Yep. You have I got a picture. picture. Anyway, I'll never forget, they invited us to go down to Defiance, Iowa, to have the play down there. So, we went down there. Guess how much we got to go down there to have the play with about 20 people? We got $25. And it was so foggy on the way back, that we couldn't find the road back to Roselle. But we did our part and we went down there and we had a good time. So, okay. so what did the plays mean? What were they about? What was it about? Well, Nick Getzer was the head, Nick Getzer was the head guy for the play. And it was, it was a kind of a commercial deal that it, it was a comedy. Excuse me for a Comedy, yeah. yeah it, was it was a comedy. comedy. What was that owl? There was an they, owl. Yeah, they was, take, they take, uh, he, he had a comedy to make you laugh. They had a big barrel out on the stage. And uh, they they had a guy, they dumped him in this barrel. And they pulled the guy out, he, he was all black. He was a, he was, was a, he was, was a cop. Huh? That was no, dad. No, 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 Ernie. Huh? No, Cyril Renzi. Okay. Cyril Renzi is the one they dumped in and they, and they, they, he was small enough where they had the other guy in the barrel, and they pulled him out, and he was a black guy. It was, it was, it was a comedy. There was a lot of people that was in that play that are all gone, too. Yeah. Was there only one play that oh, you no. ever... What's oh. that? Was there only no. one play, or were there different kinds different, of plays? Different kinds of plays. Okay. Lots of different ones. Lots of different ones. Different, ones. different, ones. different okay. kinds. I know his sisters yeah. were in them. I think the production was by Nick Netzinger. Nick yeah. He was the main guy. As a young boy, I remember yeah. going to those. Nick, Nick Dad was in it, but yeah. my sisters were in it. Oh, yeah. But I didn't realize, you know, what it was all about. But it was scary things like oh yeah thunder and oh, oh <laughs> See, thunder. bowling ball rolling yeah. across yeah. the back thunder. of the stage. Thunder, thunder, thunder we'd have a sheet of a sheet of tin. She she was was that, 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 was that was ground. That was Rich, Ro Rich Rothmeyer and yeah. 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 Ernie and me and oh, well, just, all you guys. Le 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 Laverne, Laverne, yeah. Laverne, Laverne New was in on yep. He was the youngest, probably. Yeah. Those pictures are in the Centennial book. Yeah. And I remember Ernie's Ernie's line was he, he was the black guy. Yeah, he, no, was, he was the black guy. I was going to ask if he played. Did he play black? Yeah, he was Santa black. He was, no, I was the no. black Santa Claus. Okay. But did he play Santa Claus or black? Played Santa, oh, yeah. I played the black guy. And okay, Ernie was the, did, I thought he I was the Santa Claus. Yeah, I remember I was you with, played the black I was guy. The Nicholas, I was Nicholas. I was the black guy. I come home from work. He dropped the chain. I remember, I remember <laughs> coming okay. home. Where did that start? Oh, that was St. Nick. St. Nick. That was St. Nick. We were by, we were by Louis Pedix one night. We went down downstairs. Nice place. And Louis Pedic, he was the, that little Louis. He was a little guy. And Louis said, "Are oh, you? You make sure you scare the hell off." Okay. We had that we had a log chain around, and we dropped the chain on the floor. Well, Ernie had a big Jesus book. They had the book out in the outside, so we had it. We come in. We knew exactly what was, what the kids did. You didn't pick up your clothes, or you didn't do this. Ernie was doing that. He was the Santa Claus. And then when they wouldn't would listen to me, I dropped that chain and they'd all like that. And my Louis Peding, that oldest girl, she just peed right on the floor. <laughs> she, she was so scared. I lead. I lead. Yeah, I lead. She, she right talks on. about that, yeah. Are That's you, a god not fact. Anymore. She's going. Yeah. 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 Oh, and then we, then we went to the, the, the nuns at St. Joe's. There's, Five nuns. Well, what are you going to do with the nuns? Well, we went in there and uh, can, can you pray? Yeah, ah, oh, 
And he said, you do it up, friend. Can you sing? So they sang. And then Ernie says, yeah, you, you sisters, you are all such good people. And that, who is the, who is the head of this outfit, he said. And that one was sitting over there. And Ernie said, you didn't shine your shoes. Boy, you put your feet back up. <laughs> then we, then we had, we had, my, we had, I, we was going to play by uh, Arnie Berger. Ernie, you got to do it. Well, we got Pete Stein or Clean, yeah, Stein, Ted Stein. He said, I'll help. Well, they, he got drunk, drunk and shit. <laughs> and when they come in the door, you got to get up the steps like this. <laughs> and Ted Stein, <laughs> instead of going up the steps, he went this way and down the steps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> then we went to Ray Reesberg. I'll never forget that you can talk to this Reesberg girl. She'll tell you about it. So me and Ernie we was going around looking at And we turned her stick it on the window. Look, Ernie said, look at here. Looked in the window here that Audrey was bare ass naked. I was with you. Yeah, you was with In fact, bare ass naked. You wouldn't forget that, huh? No. I, 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 went, I, went, I, went, I, I went to the moon store about a month or two ago. And she was sitting there. Because I remember you. Yeah, yeah, she she didn't have a chance to close on it. Living on the rain of rain. Look at that. You can't unsee. You can't unsee that. I thought you quit tapping and just kept going. Well, now she could have been well, four. Yeah, she been oh, she's probably old, was five, she? six years old. Yeah, she was very old. No, oh, she was very old. Oh, she was very old. No, six, seven. Better she'd been fifteen. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she remember enough for her. Mother Superior. Yeah, Mother Superior. What? It's your turn. No, let's go right now. They finished, so she can yeah. finish this. No, I, then I, I just want to. I'm Kevin Drew Piper. I'm the son of Leroy and Pat. I'm kind of number five down the line. I was born in 1958, and I live on the home place where mom and dad kind of raised ten of us kids. Um, I think we got it pretty good now. It was a little tough times back then, but uh, I always got along all my brothers and sisters. Um, they're all living. Tell them about all your accidents. <laughs> yeah, three left-handers. <laughs> Nine lives? Yeah, I think I'm on my ninth life. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, I met I a think I get him grown up. pretty good-looking girl back in 86. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Wow. I'm glad she doesn't have a twin sister because I can't handle her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, doing the best I can. But anyway, got two boys, 24, 28. They're born in... 88, 92. So Ross is 30 years younger than me, and Dad's 30 years older than me, so it's 28, 58, and yeah. 88. So anyway, I didn't think they'd ever come home, but we're all working together. They're nice boys, too. Who's got the grinder, Kelly? Kelly, oh, the youngest one. Yeah, he's the youngest one. I like them both. Okay, Diane. Okay. My wife, Diane, over there. What's, what's, his, what's his radius? He goes about 60 miles out of circle. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, he's out there a lot. Over down the city one day. I, I gave him a picture. Oh, I just asked him to marry Tony Piper. That's the nice squad. Yeah, I just wanted benefits because I thought that would help us out with the sure. insurance, you know. And then they offered me that, and I thought, well, we had it like a day to decide, and it's like we might as well try it, and at least I'm something. in there, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Who more took than that? Twenty-three years. Yeah, everybody she, knows. She was at Sharp before that for how long? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but it's nice having the boys close within five miles of us. Didn't know if that would happen. And I got to tell them about Ross raising chickens because I know y'all know Grandma <laughs> Carrie and she had chickens. And I asked Ross, now why do you have chickens really? Do you? And he goes. I always just wanted to live on a farm and have chickens. <laughs> I know he said that. I him. said, really? How many are you going to have? I don't know. I might start with 10 or 12. Yeah. 25. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's, got, he's got some that lay green eggs. Green eggs. Oh, really? Green eggs. And yeah. then some are brown. He's got Most of brown. Fifth, well, 15. He's got Rhode Island Reds. They, they got the brown eggs. Yeah. And then he's got that off-breed. They lead a 
they lay a green egg. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Green. I've never heard of that. Green yeah. shell. Green eggs and ham looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Are they the same yolk then? Or same. Tastes the same. 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 All, all in the, yeah. all all the, the shell is different. Yeah. The shell okay. is yeah. green and the northern Island reds are, are, are brown, big brown eggs. He does Easter eggs. He does Easter eggs. Yeah, make the best Easter eggs. Yeah. And what does he do with all his eggs? He gives them away. A couple weeks ago, I got a pack of eggs. Open two of them. They're both double eggs. Oh, you don't see that much. No. They pull out eggs? Double eggs. Double yolk. You know what that is? It's twins. So do you ever get twin chickens? Can that egg accommodate two chicks? I, I would know. I mean, I've never heard of twin chicks. But you got two eggs, you'd have, if you have rooster, you'd have two eggs, you'd have twins. Yeah. But I mean, I've seen double yolked eggs, yeah. but do yeah. they ever develop into two chicks? Well, sure they would. No, In that they got a rooster. No. But no, what she's saying is, have you ever heard no, of no. anybody... Birthing two little yeah, like two little little chickens out of one egg. Yeah, is there a you know, you do see the double yolks, but I have never heard them. No, twin baby I chickens. I thought about that one. Well, that, you know, boy, Kathy, you need something you, to do. If you look back and read about <laughs> Tombstone is Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Kev, did you know it? I knew it. I never heard that before. Yeah. No, I have never heard that before either. Because yeah. even when we go through the history, it's still. What you're just saying about his, about Louis. Well, Louis's name was Aloysius, but they called him Louis, Louis. But you were talking about Huffman. Yeah. Right? Oh. Okay, now can we go back to I.W. for a bit, if you don't mind? I.W. would be your, your grandpa. Mm hmm And I.A. was, was, uh, Ryman, uh, uh J.B. Ryman's wife, which, that was her, her dad. Elmer was a Huffman. Huh? Elmer was a Huffman. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Very good. Very joke. Yeah. He was a surveyor, and he was a county engineer for Carroll mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk in front of you. That's okay. And uh, he bought a farm. He bought a farm up there, up north. What the hell? Northern Sac City. Northern Sac City. <laughs> And that, I believe, I, I had that when he died. And I believe one of, one of the kids got it now. I don't know who's got it, but that was Grandpa Hoffman's farm. And the one up here in North Rizal, that was Grandpa Hoffman's farm, too. The, what was that, 120 acres up here. But I also remember him being kind of a tough person. Well, he was a very, very particular person. You wouldn't dare to touch his tools... He had, a, he had a, a little thing on the side of the truck, and it had a lid on. You wouldn't dare to go in that because he had his surveying Tony stuff in there. Tony. He didn't want nobody to touch it. Yeah. Nobody. That was his Tony private Tony? stuff in there. The first one underneath William Rupiper. Then a brother to your... I think he died talked about IW and when when grandma was around and stuff that he was he was when grand when when grandpa died when yeah. Joseph died he wasn't so not such a nice person at that time was so he stopped he was he was a huff I'm gonna say a Huffman I'm the oldest daughter of Lee Ryan Pat <laughs> Second child of ten, um, married to Rich Mobauer for 43 years. Uh, we have four children, and our oldest is Bob, and he's a CPA in the firm with Rich. Our second is Jeff. He lives in Cedar Rapids, and he is with W.W. W. Granger, which is an industrial supply company. And our third is Shelly, our daughter, only daughter, and she's also a CPA, and she's in the firm with Rich. And Mike is our youngest, and he is the manager of Menards in West Bend, <coughs> Wisconsin. And we have 12 grandchildren, and we have six teenagers. Um, and <laughs> nine of the grandchildren are in the Kemper School System. Nice. And... One is in Des Moines and two in Cedar Rapids.
Ten girls and two boys. Oh, yeah. Ten girls and two boys. <laughs> Not too many to carry on the mill hour. <laughs> so, and Rich is <coughs> going to be 65 in March. So, closer to retirement. <laughs> Not retired yet. So there's still one working? more. One more. Oh, my God. There's just one more. <laughs> so, so that's all. Anyway. One, two. Yeah, that's one. about all. We live in Carroll. Oh, and Shrek. We met in high school. He was a senior and I was a junior. And he went to school in Omaha and I followed him. And then when he came back and we got married in Roselle and lived Father Darrell was you. Father Darrell was our so, so. children. You hit it off. Yeah, it worked. And <laughs> been in Carroll ever since. So and he's a partner in the Olsen and Mill Bar. No, she I went to you in and she does a lot for us. <laughs> a lot for me. Yeah, a lot for us. A lot for me. And I'm still working part time at the Graphic Edge. I'm a receptionist. So just two two mornings a week. Otherwise, I'm busy going to the grandkids' stuff or helping. No my, kidding. Helping my kids out with scary tax season, and making meals for them. And, 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 so anyway, <laughs> help mom and dad when I can. That's a family That's is, huh? Yeah. Yep. Rich? Uh, she pretty much said it all. <laughs> I grew up in Halbers, most of you guys know, and a bunch of you guys know my parents, at least my dad and most of my brothers. Some brothers that are equivalent to you guys. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, my great uncle was married to a whoreback. Right. Which one? Um, uh, Dave, Dave's dad. Frank. Oh, yeah, Frank yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and of course I grew up in Halber and uh, uh, seven brothers, no sister or six brothers, no seven sisters. of us total. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something then too? I run a corn sheller and and his dad run a corn sheller, and I could never get nothing fixed but mail bars <laughs> until Rich come along and married my daughter, and she could get a rick. Fixed by Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. I, I believe too. Yeah, That's I a fact. Hard ass. I'm just like Ernie yeah. says. Could you couldn't get along with them Halbert people, oh, yeah. but you, the only way you can get along with them is marry him. Yeah. Yeah. Ernie would always say, Unless he's got to marry him. And Dad did and say that. Dad didn't miss a thing when it came to talking about Mom. No, he said, we didn't like him. Marry him. But he never had any sisters, and now he's got 10 granddaughters, so... Yeah, there you like, go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot different. Uh, it was He's a surveyor. Yeah. And he was a, his brother would be Harry Ryman's grandpa. That'd be, it was IA and IW. IW is my grandfather. That was your grandpa. And IA, that was, that was uh, Mrs. Ryman. But uh, your, your grandpa was real, real smart. He, he had a lot of things going for him. He had the farm up there. Sacked. And mm -hmm. He had the farm where I lived on. He, he was quite a guy. Over here. Yeah, that was that was old Grandpa Hoppins. I remember her from playing. playing he had a little. Final. He had a little beard. He was one of the best oh, final really? players. You mean Dorothy? Who was? Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah. She we was had the best <laughs> final player. Kids would run upstairs. Your kids all went through it, but take glass of water up there. Be frozen in the morning. Open the oven so you had heat in the kitchen when they come down. They stand around there in the cold, get ready for school. But I I just think so you know all good things come to those who like right? yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah yeah I just think there's just a lot that you need to tell your kids what it was like and not not let them just think it was always like this. Rain, you know, tell before. us about your house. Uh, the house over there. This one over there and here. Oh, you missed it. Just. I just said that this was a palace compared to where we came from. You know, we had mice, a lot of mice and creatures. Tell us about your Christmas here, your decorations. Tell us about your house. I gotta tell you about the mice. We had mice this fall. My cleaning girls come to come and they move the couch out to clean behind there, and I had to put a sticky pad there. You know. <laughs> The next time they come, I thought, well, I better check it before they come. And it was another one. <laughs> <laughs> we had, 
I was there, they would have never taken it out. I, went down. I could smell something. I don't know. I, and they teach the kids everything too. They would not take it off or anything. I said, don't do that. Yeah. 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 Step on the sound. Oh, no. I can't do that. He killed. Well, that's a true story. He killed yeah. the yard so bad that I really found him. He was stuck in their mom's place. Talking about. Okay. Okay. Speak up and say that again. I need it. That is my thought. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne, when was it again? July 11th. Wow. Remember you guys driving well. by the window down there to Lake? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. We're playing they cards. We're talking about that. <coughs> in July. <laughs> July what and what year? July 11th. 2011. 2011. In July. What about your dad again? 80. Jan or February of 80. Because yeah, it was on our anniversary. Did he get married over in Dubuque or someplace? In um, St. Louis. Is that where the, the brotherhood yeah. is. Where the creek star. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, Brian, my brother Brian went down there. Yeah. He did see his grave site. Yeah. I'm Del Rue Piper. I was born uh, two days before Christmas. It just turned 71, so I guess Jesus and I are pretty close. <laughs> I'll let my wife Kathy tell about the family. I'm just kind of reminiscing here my thoughts. Uh, I live in the Bill Rupiper home place, which is 114 years now. And uh, Bill would never throw anything away. Everything went in the grove. And Uncle Vic lived there his whole life, and he threw everything in the grove. <laughs> and here comes along Bill and Kathy, and he threw everything in the grove. And here a few years ago, I decided to clean that pile out. It was just getting big enough, and started hauling the quant. All of a sudden, I got down there, and I could see something. And here I pulled it with a tractor and loader, pulled the steering wheel out. And then I pulled this running board out and said, and some fenders and stuff. There was no motor, no wheels. Wayne probably remembers it. Gary said he did. I don't. And here it turned out 1923. So I asked Aunt Aggie, she was alive, I said, do you remember that? And she goes, for heaven's sakes, that was Grandpa's first car he owned. It was a 1923 touring car oh, with curtains cool. around it. And he said, the boys would always have them. Aggie said, the boys would always have them curtains up and it was so cold riding in there. So I think, and I got part of that stuff in the corn crib yet. So I guess there's a little history sitting around there, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. I'll let Kathy tell about the family. 1993 years ago. Yep. And, and I got parts with you. Yeah. Sure. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I can just nope. go over there if you want. Very good. good. Was it? Yeah. Chevy On the running board, it said 23 anyway. And Marcella, Marcella Stemmes pulled a name out of her the hat, and he won that in the, the result there. She said, okay. And really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, that was right. Adam Stephens. Grandpa Adam won that. Grandpa right south of the that tower. Black, that black one he had? Yeah, that black coupe. Yeah, that yeah. little... I always remember where did that. Where did that car ever go? Nobody knew, did you? Uh, where did it go? A oh, construction yeah. guy came through Templin and Lamb Swallow told him about it, and he bought it, I think, for 50 bucks. So oh, the family wouldn't fight over it. Yeah. And it <laughs> run yet, too. Yeah, I think. I think it was 50 bucks. I remember it. Yeah, you right. Yeah, yeah. at that. Little donut in yeah, the back. Yeah, donut in the back. You? You're talking about Marcella Stemmons. Oh, Marcella Stemmons, like none. Her picture's in the paper. She's yeah, 90 yeah. years old now. Oh, yeah. I know. She she she's she's a nun. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's Johnny Stemmons. Yeah, Johnny Stemmons' yeah. girl. Sister, or daughter. Yeah, yeah. Oldest yeah. One. She, she was a sister. Yeah. 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 She's she's a year older than me. Okay. Well, she's 90 years old. Year. She's well, two couple years older than me. All right, a year and a half. Yeah. Doris was my age. Well, that's... Marcella was... Her, just thinking about her, and she drew the, the ticket off. Yeah, she drew the ticket off for Grandpa. And that's a, Who'd have ever known that? I did. Leroy Wayne. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's, I that. that's interesting. Yeah. I remember when they drew it. Yeah. Right south of the tavern. That's where, yeah. the, where, where the house was there. Adam, Adam Stevens. Adam Stevens. Yeah. I was there when they tried to. That's another guy that would have been my great grandfather. Yeah. Never heard much about him growing up, ever. I mean, I read about him, you know, he was a... Uh, Mayor of the Well, more than that. <laughs> Just of the peace. 
Not true. He had a lot of peace. Yeah, a lot of peace. Yeah. 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 yeah, I remember when he used to shit. When he used a star pretty intelligent <laughs> though. Starmans and and uh, belling houses, they all brought the horses down there to Adam Stevens and put the horses in a stable and Starmans from down there and all anything west, they all brought the horses down to Adam Stevens. Put them in there. He had his school. own stable where yep. it didn't cost you to stable yep. them. Yeah. Uh, over by Pelts, Bellinghouse was all come with all their kids that they yeah. put their car or their uh, horses. Horses in their barn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, by Louis Pelts yeah. over there. Yeah. Right. That one. That one. Yeah. I mean, those are things that just happen, you know, we think that that didn't exist. That, that's within the last hundred years we're talking yeah. about that, uh -huh. that our parents. Yeah, there's a lot of changes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Like, like where Clucky's in it? Yeah. Well, not a well. Yeah. What? Sister. Dave. Dave. Yeah, I know what you meant. I, that's what I meant. Yeah. Where they went in case of a tornado or something, they go in there. I remember that being over there. Yeah. Well, I used to have wool in that shed. There was a garage there. That wasn't a garage, it was an old schoolhouse, wasn't it? That was the uh, township schoolhouse yeah. moved up there. Yep. It was right. over here, over by uh, Fisher Farm, over here someplace, oh, yeah. Yeah. the section. It was right west of the house. Or yep. right yeah, I remember that. The white schoolhouse in Roselle, <laughs> where did that move from? Well, <laughs> Bill's mom and dad was Albert and Gart, and Gart lived almost to be a hundred, four, four months shy of a hundred. And Albert was, what, 91 when he passed away? Yep. Um, and then Bill was in Vietnam. He was drafted in Vietnam. 66 to 7, 8? 65 to 67. There you go. So that was before I met him. And then we were at a dance at the Moose, and he <laughs> spied me and soldered right on over. Because you were sitting there with a short dress on. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you have that. Why wouldn't you? Right. The greatest pickup line ever. Temptation. Like, Do you want to see my car? You know, so I came with someone else. But So down we went. He had a GTO, and it was like, oh. You should have done that, too. Yeah. And, and we got married in 1970, November 14, 1970. Yeah. And we had three kids, and Brenda's 44, and she was married to Tim Rowetter. 50, he's 51, and then we have a daughter, Nancy, who's 43. She lives in Des Moines and works at Wells Fargo. And Ryan got, is uh, 40, and he has two children, so we have two grandchildren. He's a cop, right? He's a high, uh, deputy sheriff in Webster City. Mm -hmm. yep. County, huh? yep. No, Hamilton County. Hamilton County. Hamilton County. Hamilton County. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Jameson and what's the other one? Regan. The little Regan. girl Regan. Yeah. They sound like good Catholic names. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our family. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you know, it's just just amazing how times have changed. Oh, yeah. The names our grandchildren are picking up. Now that was no twins. We have twin grandkids. We have three sets of Jerry. We have one in our family. <laughs> you get three sets? Three yeah. sets. Really? Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. 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 Mark is the oldest that. boy. Sure. Sherry is the oldest boy. And uh, uh, Michelle is buying tickets. Yeah. All boys. Do all the boys have them? Oh, no. Uh, no. Sherry. You know, the tickets is our girls. Boys. No, but I mean. Your, the your grandsons were the oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 only boys had the twins. Yeah, Ben and Ben. So was it running on the roof back or slide or not? Uh, well, the other other trucks, you know. Uh, okay. Steel you know, trucks. trucks yeah. yeah. Okay. But the roof, we, we don't have a history of that, do we? No. I mean, 
The boy and the girl, they're not identical, are they? No, they're not identical. Are they? I'm going to have to go back and take some off. I'm going to go for a bit. They got a buzz on. That's okay. The twins went to kindergarten. They went to first grade. I don't know what it was. They went down to see it when I was running. They just decided to leave. Just told them to start. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Melissa comes with a report card. I <laughs> showed Grandma with a report card. Her report card. She got in school. <laughs> Grandma asked Jeff where his report card was. And I thought, oh, you don't do that to a, to a boy. <laughs> well, Grandma, it's like this. Nobody's alike. <laughs> I had to go in the kitchen. I was, I was cracking up laughing so damn hard. I'll tell you what, I, I had to get the hell out of the living room. I went to get, I just cracked up laughing. Yeah. Nobody's alike. Yeah. Yeah, well, nobody's alike. Then finally he got his report card on. I yeah. put the poor kid on the spot. Oh, okay. Marilyn, would you want to fill us in on your family? And Tom Horbeck's my age. I mean, classmate and a first cousin. But we didn't do a lot together, so. Did you get that book on Margaret? I got a book yeah. on Margaret. Yeah. Her whole life. Uh, Mom will tell you. Well, about it. it was about her hundredth birthday. Yeah. Hundredth birthday. Oh, from the girls. Uh, Jen Pedic was up by her son. And Raymaker must have been cleaning out his house or something. Tom? And they had this book that was all about Margaret's hundredth birthday. And they give it to Pedix to give to us. Really? Yeah, yeah. really nice. Oh, that's nice. I got it. I think he has it. Yeah. You have it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said we should. Oh, we, nice. I come in the beauty shop one day and then they said, Patty Peak said, this is for you, Leroy. So. Well, that's great. Yeah. Tells all about her. Well, you guys are kind of close to Matt and Margaret. Pretty close. Or more yeah. to Matt than Margaret. Pretty close. Margaret usually had the gun when you came. Yeah. <laughs> and, she, and she had the pocketbook. <laughs> yeah. Was she tight? Tight. Tight as a way. Say that again. <laughs> She's tight as a wedge. <laughs> Jerry, you're still, Jerry, you're still working. I'm sorry. You're working. You're still working. No, no, I'm retired. Time. A year ago, year and a half. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. I figure I got about four months left before I have to really start selling. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie Water Supreme. You're down and down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were retired. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I think yeah. you're still working. I know why Margaret needed to check about man. Yeah, I don't. I was old enough, I, I hit 70, just so right. I just decided, <laughs> 70 and a half or whatever it was. What's that magic number, 70 and a half? 70 and a half. Yeah, I so waited until man. you keep busy down, going down to the lake and stuff, or what do you Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're down to the lake a lot. We're here a lot. We're down there a lot. This year's probably been the least we've been down. Do that, but I haven't heard that. Hmm. My birthday is August 23rd, 1944. And I remember my... Uh, Mother saying she got a special ring right at the end of the war and she wore it till she died and it's gone. I don't know where it went. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. But anyway, being being a, a boy, being born, I guess, was a big deal for her mom and dad. And uh, August 23rd, 1944, so I'm 72 years old. And I met Rain in uh, 1960. Six, seven, and uh, six, we were married in 1968 at St. Lawrence Parish in Carroll. She was a Murphy, Maureen Murphy, call her Reen, and uh, her father was the uh, state representative for uh, Carroll County down at down at uh, Des Moines, and he was killed right east of Roselle right before we were married, a year before, uh, right over by Tom Simons and Gary Van Tiger and that. Had the that yeah, straight over there. Mm -hmm. And so uh, her mother was 55 at the time, and I thought, you know, she's pretty old already anyway. <laughs> Probably didn't hit her very hard. <laughs> 55. Well, I said, well, do you mind if I took your daughter uh, in marriage? And I thought she'd be glad to get rid of her, but it was a heavy move for her. She's a single daughter at home. And, and so 
they both said yes. And so we got married and uh, had our first child in uh, Jenny, who was born in 69. Then we waited five years before we had our next two. They were boom, boom. And then it was another four years till we had Kelly. So we have four daughters and 12 grandchildren under the age of 16. Our oldest just turned 16, driving. And uh, our youngest is just uh, three of them. two. Three of them no. are seven. Yeah, three, yeah. So Jenny, our oldest, had twin girls, Peyton and Paige. And then, uh, so we had, uh, Olivia was the oldest, that's Kim and Chad's. Then Peyton and Paige. And we went on down the line. Man, it was like we were going to birthdays and parties <laughs> just all the time. Seven girls and five boys. Just finished the Christmas. Janine, you know what it's like. Rich, you know what it's like. You got programs at Kemper. You got programs at St. Lawrence and Holy Spirit. You got First Communion. You got birthdays. You got... It's, I don't know how you guys did it all. But it's amazing. But it's all about family. So that was, that was fun. So I think uh, Reed and I moved over to the farm here. I lived on the old Fallmeyer place, a Fisher farm. Till what year did you tell me it was? 89. 1989. We lived here a year and we remodeled, opened up the old front porch right here and added on the, our bedroom on the back. And Dad said, God, I always hated this long, narrow room. He said, I wish I'd have did that years ago. You know, it was always the old parlor was here and the dining room in there. And so, so 1990 we remodeled and then uh, 1988, I actually started working with American Home Shield. Uh, they set me up in the field being a sales representative. There wasn't a warranty in the state, a home warranty in the state. And they said, you can be an independent sales. A lot of people didn't believe in home warranty, right? They got their own plier and wire and fixed their own. <laughs> Pretty much anybody around here. So it was a tough go for quite a while. But after it started picking up, it got to be a strong company to be with and so forth. So I think that's, uh, I don't know, I started renting the farm out oh, golly, I don't even remember. 97 I think. That sound right? I think it's 1997. I was doing, I was doing chores at home and being on the road early in the morning and and going to meetings and coming home and farm. You can't do it all. Dad, I said you're better off to do one or the other. So that's what I finally did. Rented it out, quit raising hogs. That was a good thing. They weren't out when I got home and stuff like that. You ever have that, Bill? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just when you were gone, too, right? Yep. Yeah. But anyway, things are good with us. Our family's healthy, knock on wood. Uh, we, we just did our Christmas thing and everything went well. I'll let Reen talk about it. Seven, Pastor? Dad was eight, 85. 87, though. What year? 87. Oh, it, uh, 09. Your dad passed away in 87, correct? No. 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 87. Not 09. Was it 09? 49. Well, was Father Darrell, wasn't it? 97. 97. 97. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I've got a father. Oh, he was 85 when he died. He, uh, died. And he was born in 12. Mm -hmm. Mother was born in 13. Mother died in 2013. She is 100. Yeah. 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 No when did they move to Carol? Okay. How many children do you have? Seven. One boy and six girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. We only have one that's carrying on the line my name. Oh boy, it's the only one. Tell us that right. Yeah. No, it will. Will, I got it. Will. Um, it's his first child. It's the only was, uh, first child was uh, stillborn. And that was yeah, a boy. That was a boy. Oh. Oh. Okay. And, uh, and what's your son's name? Kevin. 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 I think he was in my we, grade. We? Oh, really? Yeah. Graduated at 83. Oh, 51. Yeah. We Stop. have a lot of the Stop. Rue Piper names. Stop. We have a Kevin. We have a Denise. <laughs> we have a Rhonda. <laughs> Kaylin is the only one that isn't a... You have a Lisa. You guys have a Kaylin. Yeah. Lisa was her last name. And a Julie, a Barb, and a Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, back to Rue Piper's. And you have a Paula. <clears throat> yes. Uh -huh. we, have, oh. we got a flowers in the hospital when one of our babies was born. It was for Mrs. Wayne Rue Piper. 
Mrs. Wayne Rupert didn't have a baby, so they figured it was Mrs. Wayne Ryman. Kevin is in Naperville, Illinois. Uh, Denise is in uh, uh, Cedar, uh, Hiawatha, Cedar Rapids. Rapids. Yeah. Uh, Rhonda is in West Des Moines. Kaylin is our only one in Carroll. Nice. Julie is in uh, Chartier, Colorado. Um, Barb is in Independence, Iowa. And Lisa is in Ankeny. Well, I don't know where that is. Yeah. Colorado, Illinois. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so what are you doing now, Wayne? You're retired. Little as possible. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You still drive a truck? In the fall. In the fall, helping neighbors or whatever. No, just help a farmer out. Yeah. Okay. And Mary Lou, what, what do you have to say about work? No. your your uh, <coughs> courting and your when you got married and what was the weather like and what was that like? Well, we met on a spring break uh, in Arcadia. Some friends of mine said I'm, we're going to a dance, so they took me along to Arcadia. Took me to Arcadia. Never been to that dance hall before. We always went to the Starline, you know. Sure. Uh, so then we started dating, and I I. I went to nurse's training after I had met him. He waited for my three years to get done. Aww. He didn't give up. Mm -hmm. Stayed right with you. And I got my first job at St. Anthony's. And I worked there back or not? Yeah, forever. She worked forever. there. She worked through all, yeah, all the years we had. All the six, Chip, the six, six children. children. And then and Lisa was born eight years later. Eight years said, later, she said she's going to quit. I said, that's fine. So then she's going to raise time. one kid at mm -hmm. home part-time and did relief and, but we had some good babysitters Ron, or, uh, Barb and Sherry yeah you know when you got six little kids you don't want just anybody taking care of them you gotta have somebody that knows something about kids yeah <laughs> so, they, they did what they did <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they picked him up after school they let yeah. me come to work at four instead of three to eleven which was the usual shift they let me come at four so we could get the kids from school and then Wayne would take them home after he got done with work in fact, we named our Barb. We didn't. We were running out of girls' names, so we found Mars Barb. <laughs> when you talk about babysitters, when we lived on the farm, we lived by Johnny Steffes, and he had yep. all these girls, and so we had them for babysitters, and they were good babysitters. I mean, they were like little mothers. And little yeah, little yeah, mothers. Too. You'd come home, and, and the clothes were in the chute. The kids were yeah. the house really was free. They were really good. Yeah, girls. Yeah, that's yeah. nice to hear. Yeah, I yeah. think of them often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just sent that sister a, a birthday card. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety years Nine old. Ninety years old. Yeah. Said, well, but she wasn't one of the babysitters. She was gone by the time sure. we moved over there. Yeah, sure. I remember. Yeah. 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 I, I, younger, well. yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Next well, you're the store. You had the store. The store lived in our neighborhood. You know the Bill store. Bill store. Sure. Lined up the babysitters. They had seventeen kids. Yeah. We didn't know who we were getting. I'd call for a babysitter. Yeah, I'll have one of them ready. <laughs> 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 Four girls. I said, well, how many are in your family? Seventeen. I know. Yeah. Yeah. They were good. <laughs> Seventeen kids and still that mother taught school. Yes. I think something that's really interesting. You think about the large families you you uh, raised, all of you. And including our parents, we had eight in our family, but I, I just mean how you did it. It's amazing. You stop and think about it today. Our kids wouldn't understand mm -hmm. washing out the diapers, yeah. carrying out the slop bucket, you know, all the garbage, we gave it to the hogs or did something with it. You know, you didn't have garbage disposals, you didn't have automatic washers all the time and things like that. I hung it out on the lines and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The diapers froze to the line. Yeah. 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 I got, I got My sheets still do once in a while. <laughs> well, I, I just think, you know, that all these things we take for granted today, the kids say they did two loads of wash today. It's yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, really, <laughs> compared to carrying the water in, carrying the water yeah. out. Yeah. Not to make it sound like... Ringer washers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The old, in the ringer, yeah. stuck in the ringer, or what it was that? Pop finger the buttons in the off. <laughs> done that. No, well, yeah, too, no, no, no. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that just happened in our house not too long ago. But getting back to the having large families, we had then Lisa eight years behind the rest of them. Yep. Father McCarty was in our parish at that time, and we were real good friends then. He called one night, <laughs> and 
the phone was ringing, the kids were making a bunch of racket. I grabbed the phone. Uh, Be quiet, kids, damn it, the phone is ringing. I gotta take the phone, you know. Hello. Wayne, is that you? Wayne, is that you? And Susie said, Wayne, is that you? Mm -hmm. His father would get in the line. And, see. <laughs> and I says, yeah, you want to hear my confession? <laughs> 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 that was my yeah. remark back to him. I'll never forget that. But anyway, and he says, yeah, he said, I wanted to talk to you. He said, uh, I want you to come to the baptism class. I said, baptism? That's when we were expecting Lisa, see. And I said, baptism class? I says, I don't plan on coming to baptism class. I said, this is the seventh time through. If I don't know by now, I I want you at that baptism class. And it's such a such day. That was your he says, really? That was our seventh one. He said, I want you there. Really? We went. So, yeah, we went. Didn't you go? So, yeah, we, we went. went. We went. Father McCarty lives class. up at Twin Lakes. We run into it. Yeah. But anyway, we go in there. <laughs> and geez, these young kids. God, I don't play. What were the 40? Who we had? Or, you know, no, it's you were the first time or second. What happens? No, first time. A lot of them were first timers. There was about four or five couples in there besides us. Yep. Yep. So Father give us Gene. Gene. What? Gene and in one? that film it said it had a remark in there if you had one child or two child or if you had seven children. When it said seven children there was about five. Oh hell no! Mm -hmm. You know this come bursting out like that. Yeah. See? No way. <laughs> and this when we were sitting for a seventh one. See? And then that was the film was over pretty well after that. And Father the lights come back on and the film's over and he says, Wayne, he says, have you got something to tell these people about seven kids? <laughs> oh, I could kill him. I looked at him and he just smiled, you know. And uh, he said, uh, you're the senior citizen here. He says, why don't you tell these people? You know, I says, well, this is off the cuff. And I says, well, the good Lord won't give you any more than what you can handle. Yeah. yeah. How else can you? I said I come up with that. See, and then, and then one of them happened to come up and say, "Well, how many just for you?" I said, seven. And he could have heard ten. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. And then, well, then they had a discussion, whatever it was, but then he left. I said, "Father, you set me up," and he just laughed. <laughs> you know, I said, "You set me up." I said, "Well, there are no dummies." Yeah, they know what's going on too. I got him back the one with Dave Auburn when I was hauling line back before guys. He was at the counter. He didn't know I was behind him, but he didn't like. Yeah. Told the told the girl behind the counter, I said, Take care and there's people around here gotta work. <laughs> you know, something like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? I says waiting in line behind you. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> Jolene, give us a little update on your family. Well, they're all fine now, and Dean and I don't know surgery. about Dean and Daryl. I don't know their situation, so I know Daryl's not feeling well today, right? Yeah, he's kind of under the weather. He's got a real severe cold, and uh, should go to the doctor maybe. <laughs> he's yeah. not getting over it. But uh, Dean had major surgery in Iowa City. What was that for? And Can it was I on ask? his kidney. On the kidney? Yeah, mm -hmm. cancer on his kidney. It was removed. Two different growths, one on each kidney. And he's doing well. He's home now, recovering. And hopefully, that's the end of it. Yeah. And our other kids are doing fine. Uh, we have um, my oldest, uh, second oldest is Amy. She lives in West Des Moines and she works for Wells Fargo. She's married to Eric Bacher. He works for a bank, a financial institution. And, uh, and um, the second daughter is Paula. She's married to Kevin Newman. And they have two children. The oldest is 17, the second one is 13, son. Um, those are the only two grandchildren that we have. And then, uh, then there's Michelle. She's, uh, 
She lives in Carroll, and she's with uh, New Hope Village. Um, Let me just say something about around. Michelle. Probably one of the nicest little girls. Yeah. <laughs> American Old Shield, she's always washing windows, not going in the morning. I said, there's a little up here. Can I reach it, Jerry? <laughs> I can't reach it. Always so pleasant. Just, yeah, just a beautiful young lady. Happy girl. Uh -huh. Yeah, happy. just a perfect. No matter where you saw her, she was always uh -huh. smiling. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then our youngest, Jason, he's in um, Montana. He works at a ski resort right now. He runs one of those big cats, and he and he clears off the slopes for the skiers. And he has a special friend, Jenna Miller. Um, she works for Yellowstone Park System. She's in recruiting for uh, employees for Yellowstone Park. She's a manager of the office of one of the offices there. And otherwise, everybody else is doing fine. I I volunteer a little bit for New Hope Village. I help with their soup day and. Uh, I'm on the advisory board with New Hope Village. And Daryl's still raising hogs. They're uh, Berkshire black black hogs. And um, otherwise everything else is going well. We're, we're planning on uh, moving to Carroll where we have a home in the process of getting built. Oh, where's that? Oh, in Northridge Edition, in Carroll. Good. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be moving to Carroll? Yeah, this spring. Oh, good for you. Possibly when it's done. Yeah. So. You excited? Yes, somewhat, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then Dean will move to the country and live in our Live on the whole place? Going on. Well, we hope Daryl feels better. Uh -huh. Hope he gets over his cold. And Dean's certainly uh -huh. get feeling better. And you keep praying, right? Yes. And I <laughs> thank God that uh, they had good doctors in Iowa City to take care of it. And everybody around here prayed for him, and yeah. it all worked out in the end. Sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, that's a good update. Bill, you're up? No, you're the next oldest. Well, well I'm the next oldest. You're actually old. in Norbert Severance. We had two bailers. And uh, we got down about uh, five, three, quarter, six. And uh, Norbert Stephens was going with Lou Ann Walterman, which is... Uh, Corral's wife. Right. Corral's wife, wife, that's right. Mm -hmm. And so I dumped him off, and she worked at the grocery store. And I went down to St. Annals, and... We, God help me, we never had a beer. I mean, you would think we would have stopped and had a couple beers, but we was in a hurry because we wanted to go back to Carroll and play cars. And yeah. I see, one guy said, didn't you see the train? I said, yes, I did. If I wouldn't have seen it, he'd never hit me. It was a matter of a second yeah. that he got us. That's when the streamliners and stuff come through back then, yeah, wasn't it? And the guy we bailed for that day was Gerald Hobrick. And he pulled us away from the 1946 Ford. It was ready to blow up. It never did, but he thought it could uh, get a gas. And he, so he took us away from far enough away that if it would have blown up, we'd have been away from it. Well, Norb didn't get hurt real bad. He got a lot of glass cuts in the back of his neck and up in the top of his arms. But I got this scar here and one broken leg and internal injuries. They never even operated on me till the next morning. Because I didn't think I was going to make it. Really? What year would have that been, Wayne? 1951. 51. Three years before I got married. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I can tell you. <coughs> yeah. I remember what that happened. I can remember that. Yeah. It happened about quarter to seven that night. And, uh, of course, at that time, there were no responders. No, nobody could take no. it. They had uh, one of the... It might have been sharp, I don't know, yeah. funeral home come out with the sure. yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was, was they, they, they had the twin, 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 sharp. I think it was sharp. That I was sharp. Uh, anyway, anyway, that night, uh, Mom and Dad was walking down the street, and 
He said, how's Wayne doing? Mom said, well, as far as I know, unless I know he's all right, what's the matter? Well, didn't you know that a train hit him? Oh, yeah. yeah. okay. well, they beat it up. I, was, I don't remember. I, was, I, yeah. Yeah. I didn't remember nothing for probably the middle of the next day or something. Was it on Facebook, was it? No. no. <laughs> no. Did I, didn't know, I didn't know why. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Well, I was in the hospital for about seven, eight days. And, yeah. Yeah. stitched me up. And... <laughs> and uh, all I can say. Well, then, that, that was before you, you and Alice were hooked up. So when did you get married? We got married in 1953. 53, so you dated her a couple of years. I got married the day after my birthday. Well, that's good to remember. And I probably met, I started going with her. The first time I knew her was when Leroy and Pat got married. That was in 48, right? Yep. I think she was like 25. <laughs> I don't think so, Wayne. Yeah. Take ten off. Yeah. And I dated her, and well, one night we went to the did the dance together, and we walked our own. First, it was dance in Templeton. In dance in Templeton, and I walked her home, and was uh, where their house, Uncle Bill's house, is here, and hers is over here. And over there, there's some steps there, you know. Well, I was doing a little playing around, you know, <laughs> back in her, whatever you say. She said, you better get going, because Dad and Mom, they're, they're going to be coming, and Lawrence didn't hardly know me. <laughs> so everything was going all right, good. The car went by, and pretty soon I didn't see that other car go by, and it went in the, in the garage, it's right over here, it went in the garage. Pretty soon I seen that door open and I zoomed around and <laughs> Damn near hit my head on the wash line and beat <laughs> it up down. Took it off. Yeah. That would have been a fun video. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Lars Hogan, about two weeks before he died, he said, Wayne, would you tell me something? I said, what do you want to know? Lord? He said, was that you I chased up town? <laughs> <laughs> oh. really? You haven't volunteered yet, did yeah. you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alex, what do you remember about the courting days? And then, did, did he propose to you, or did you say, "Hey, marry me"? <laughs> Boy, I can't even pinpoint that. <laughs> Long time ago. I can remember one time I went to Temple all the time. I had a girl down there too, and, <laughs> and she had to she had to go home that night. I said, "Yeah, that'd be right." So I buzzed down to Temple, and I had. When I could look at there, and I was sitting there having a good time there in the joint, you know, having a beer, young. All of a sudden, I looked at the door, and here come Marvin Nishai. He brought Pat and a bunch of girls in. I was sitting with this other guy. Yeah, I was in dance. No, it was the bar. It was that day. It was all like it bar. And I know, I can remember, I said on one table, he says, you, you come up to me. No, no. I went for the can. <laughs> and I thought I could jump out of the window, window at Oligers, you know, on the north side. And that goddamn thing had bars on <laughs> So I come back out and... I sat down and she come over to me and she said, who are you with, me or her? I said, I guess you. <laughs> That's happened, I know that. Well, good for you. I got to tell you one more. Well, I don't know if you was going with Pat at that time, but anyway, Tim and I had some pretty nice older girls. And I think Leroy, you the one. And anyway, we was at the dance together and Leroy said, I'll pick you up in about a half an hour. Well, that was about 12.30. Well, it got to be about two o'clock, and I was sitting there waiting, and, and I was finally come, you know. Well, we're on our way home, and guess what? He fell asleep halfway, and we run into where Uncle Bill, where your oh, God. place, uh, the and went through the fence. Well, it's no bank. We went right through it and got home. And the next Sunday, we always went down Uncle Bill's on Sunday. So we were talking there, and Bill Rupert said, Uncle Bill said, for well, some reason or another, somebody went through our fence <laughs> and I couldn't go to the face. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll tell you, that's all right. Forget about it. How the hell did anybody be that tired that could go to sleep from there to Bill's pants? Yeah, no. uh, come on, boys. I heard it. Something happened. Yeah, 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 I know something happened, but it wasn't going to sleep. Well, I guarantee you, I wasn't driving. Yeah. yeah. I think Leroy might have had one too many. Yeah. <laughs> you think the grandpa's figured that out? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this grandpa Before figured that out. Just listen to this. Yeah. Yeah. Where's yeah. Yeah. Alice, yeah. Alice, yeah. Alice, Alice lived over here, and Uncle Bill over here. Mm. I tell him what you would always do when you go by there. No, I always scooped the snow. Oh. I no. cleaned the sidewalks off. How about the candy? Oh, uh, that would be oh, some yeah. butterscotch oh, candy. Yeah. Butterscotch yeah. candy. Yeah. Skid of it, Bill. What did he uh, have an name for it? Butterscotch. Uh, Skid of it. Skid of it, Bill. Skid of it. Yep. Skid of it. Skid of it. That was German for it. Yeah. Skid of it. Is that what the yeah. name was? Yeah, yeah. Skid of it. Skid of it, Bill. Yeah, I don't remember that. I'm always yeah. saying that. Okay, mm -hmm. who's next? One question for you, Wayne. Did you ever have an accident with Leroy besides that ditch? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. Brand new. Yeah, brand new God car. damn car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, Rich, I have trouble. <laughs> hey, hold on. No, go, no, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go no, get a refill. No, no. Take a break. No, yeah, take, yeah, a, take oh, a break. Cut him down. I think this, 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 okay. had, this had to be in, I think, 1959. You just got a brand new car. Brand new. <laughs> just Mercury. I mean, now, you know. It, I bought it from Willie, uh, uh, where the Brown Derby is there now, with the, uh, underneath there, uh, the car dealer, I uh, can't remember who it was. So I bought that new car, I think it cost like $1,600. And uh, anyway, uh, on the way home, I filled up a, at Houlihan's, uh, Winnicott. Yeah, where did you? Mm -hmm. Filled up with gas. And, that was well, about it's a short story before that. The night before, uh, it was a big snowstorm, a lot bigger than it's ever been any yeah, place around. Yeah. And we was playing cards in Brazil, and Wilbur Riesenberg said, let's run into Denny's and get a bite to eat before, you know, this was about 10, 10.30. Well, the only road that was by Cyril, by uh, Cyril, or Simons, yeah. Simons, <coughs> going up the hill, they had it open on one side. South side. The, the south side is the only thing that was open. So Wilbur Riesenberg said, boy, you know, if somebody was coming on the other side, a guy could really have a bad accident. I said, yeah, that's right, like that, you know. So I'm coming home after I got my car filled up with gas and I went home. Brand new. I'm going up, I'm going up the hill, and guess what? So it literally came. come into the wreck with the pickup, and they took the front end right out of my car. Oh. Oh. Brand new. Oh. I had seven miles on, not even seven miles on the car. <laughs> Leo Winnicke said when they wheel it by there, he knew exactly who saw it. <laughs> Wait, so yeah. God, I think yeah, I was a decent... either 58 or 59. Uh, I said, what the decent. hell are you doing on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> I said, they were, that's the only side. I was only probably going 20 mile an hour because I had that in my mind. <laughs> No, I'll never forget that. I was on the south side. Yeah, that's right. yeah, I remember hearing side, about it. Then the south side, side plowed open. And he was yeah, you talk and about us. garbage talk after yeah, that. Yeah. So I went bowling like on Thursday night. One some guy said, "Well, you guys really had that planned out, didn't you? Good to get an accident like that." <laughs> I about knocked him on his ass. Said, what are you talking about? Well, you and your brother got in uh, in an accident down in Roselle. I said, yeah, but it wasn't planned, I'll tell you that. Why would it be planned? Brand new car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two for sprouts. Wait, was that that hip key nipple? Did he sell That's vehicles right. underneath That's there? That's yep. yep. I just thought of that. That's right. That's who it was. And, Mayor uh, Carroll. And there was another, another guy who was with him. Uh, uh, not with him. Uh, so we see. That, no, would, that would have made a story Charles, of that year. Willie. Uh, Willie and hip key nipple. I remember what hip key nipple was. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, that I'm done. That was typical of a snowstorm coming through there. Yeah. Oh, those grain there was just one. There was just one. There was, just one, there was one, and it wasn't just fifty feet. It was about yeah. hundred and fifty. It was, it was probably twenty feet high. You know, yeah. we don't. We haven't had a snowstorm no, like, like that. Like we used to get. No. no. I remember growing up to be tunnels. on this farm. Yes. Snow plow from Helver. Old Bill Potterbaum would come yeah. over the hill. He had hit that son of a bitch and he hit it and he did big B plow, you know. And pretty soon he hit her too hard and the snow came over the top of his blade 
Yep. And they had brought a caterpillar out to pull him out. Yeah. We used to get snowstorm. You know where Ray? I know there are times you couldn't find. Like twice since we've been You know where Ray Reasonberg yeah. lived? Yeah, this is yeah. Yeah. They, they, they couldn't get through with a snowplow, and they had to get a caterpillar. Where they were? You know Ray Ray? Oh yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right uh, uh, east of there. They had to have a caterpillar. Cheryl yeah. Schempner come in and he bulldozed that. We, we have caterpillars out here on this road. Oh, yeah. That one year, I don't remember, we were married, and Bob Hills and, and Jim came out to our place, and had they had their skid loaders at that time. Yeah. That was a big deal. They had oh, a skid yeah. loader. Upper one. Just and we, we just, uh -huh. yeah, pull that up. I did. That's good. That enough? Good. Can go back a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, that's good. But yeah. anyway, that. They came and we, we couldn't get cattle watered or we couldn't do anything. It was, they were just, it was Sorry terrible. The <laughs> uh, we had a lot worse storms than what we do right now. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. uh, we had 14 inches that time. That's well, Wayne that. and Mary Lou, I remember uh, same story. How old are you and when did you get married, your birth date? And how'd you meet your woman? And then she gets to tell about all the bad things. I mean the good things. <laughs> You got enough time. Okay, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, 320, 39, 77, 77. Do you need something else? I'm 77. 77? 77. We met in Arcadia to dance. Where we met. Arcadia? Arcadia. I see. I never went to Arcadia ever. But, uh, <laughs> huh? I know where you got married. Fate. Uh, yeah. It was fate. Right? It was fate, yeah. yeah. We met in Arcadia. He always about. told my mom he got me out of the hills. <laughs> <laughs> I told that once, but not the second time. <laughs> got her out of the hills. <laughs> what did you from Schleswig? My hometown was Schleswig. Oh, what? But you got married in Charter Road, didn't you? Yeah. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. I know that church. Mm -hmm. I, we went to it. Yeah. In the morning. Yeah, it was That's right. Right. That, that yeah. would be a long way from home. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Uh, I mean. Yeah. The way things are were then. I remember born in Chicago at the same time when they got oh, married. That's how I remember that. Huh? Go ahead, Mike. When we were going to that, <coughs> that was on the road driving all the time from Apple. And we were supposed to meet. Albert Apple? Yeah, Albert. Yeah. Albert? But anyway, I was supposed to have off. Somehow I didn't get off and I had to call Dad to have a pick me up. He's going to my house. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah he's going to go. Where's he going? Five miles west of Slesser in Ohio, Illinois. You can't miss it. Oh, boy. Out of my corner. Excuse me. He wasn't going to stand me up, so he said it was Dad. Oh, that's cool. She was back home before I got home. Really? Oh, yeah. You had a, yeah, you couldn't you call each other. Huh? Rick's wife. You know, yeah, from cell phone. We're no, uh, there were no cell phones. Well, long distance, Rick you Rick wouldn't spend a dime to do that. Rick 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 that's where people were. Long distance. What the hell is her name? Then I talked to her. Snyder. Snyder. Roselle. Matt. 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 Or four kids, okay. And Mark and his three kids. Yeah, so that's ten. And then the then there's seven other ones that didn't make it. One, one of our what? grandson, granddaughter's husbands had to stay back because they got a new puppy and something. Oh, they had to stay with the puppy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, last year in um, Willie, we have. How old I am? 85. What, what year were we got married? 1953? So how many children? We had uh, 11 living children and one dead. We lost our third daughter, Mary. She, uh, we don't really know what happened. We found there's out a few a, things a, this year. There's a name for it. But there's I, a name for it. Um, we, my um, wife always thought that when she was pregnant that she fell one time and thought that's probably what it was. Do so you want the 80 acres or do you want to... After that, then there's service. You want to go to service? Yeah, we want to go to service. Well, in the meantime, we got married. It was in between two wars. I, I was I was drafted, and I went to Omaha to get physical, and I got back home, and two months later, the, the war quit. Then I got married in between times, then we didn't have to go because we was married. A dependent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that was Korean War. Yeah. No, I don't know. But I was, you know, World War Two. I was ready to go. But it had been probably good, I don't know. 
Yeah, we learned a lot. Did you, were you drafted then? At that well, time? Uh, well, you're sure. You, yeah, everybody had a register. I register for draft. Yeah. Then, then I had to go to Omaha and get my physical. But you didn't have to go to basic no, training? No, then, no. Okay. Two months. I had to go to the event. Yep. There's a lot of that going yeah, on. Yeah, there's a lot of that. So, Pat, what do you think? Uh, you, you got married now. Prior to you getting married, where did you meet? And, uh, Steaming ring is where we met. Yeah. You called him Hot Wheels ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hot, hot Wheels have slowed down. <laughs> hot Wheels have slowed down. Yeah, I don't, I don't know any of your background as far as going back that far. So I think it's good to share that. 16 years before you was born, that went to the academy. That's where okay. you went to the academy. providing us the opportunity to get together, so it's kind of, let's get together and find out how everybody's doing and how your family's doing, and uh, we need to stay in touch. Everybody's going further apart with our kids, right? and uh, so we're local here in Roselle and Templeton and, and Carroll and so forth, and I think we should just reminisce a little bit, not just when we go to the funeral, but yeah. a little ahead of time once yeah. in a while. Quick, I'm quick enough. Yeah, yep. that, that does. So I think Leroy is the oldest. I'm the youngest. I'll be the oldest. I want to listen to what they say first. Well, you'll, you'll be glad to get it off your chest and then you'll be able to listen better. How old are you and what year were you born and uh, when's your birthday? I'm born 1928. I'm 88 years old. I'll be 89 in March. 89 in March. Yep. yep. So, uh, yeah, what yeah. what year so, did you get married? <coughs> 1948. Whatever made you feel like you could find a woman like that? <laughs> so well, I, did, I, I thought I picked the first one. She wasn't used. Pat's going to have her turn, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be real careful. Be real. Yeah, I, I was careful. I said, yeah. Yeah. Like, like the priest said, what would you say living 68 years with the same woman? I said, you're always right. <laughs> he laughed. He just yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. They asked that at the last family wedding. Um, in, in the sermon. In, in church. Not, they didn't know about it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about it. So what would you say for the longevity of your marriage? How yeah. how that has worked? Or worked? They asked me that. Joke. And we're all gasping, thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the wedding ceremony. All I say is she goes right. We're at a granddaughter's wedding. <laughs> <probably there. laughs> Yeah, you know what, it's just about getting along. I just told one of our grandchildren last night, <clears throat> I said, you can't just keep arguing with people. You know, it doesn't pay attention. You, you can't fix stupid. But I mean, you know, people argue about the stupidest things, right? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, Leroy, so uh, tell us about your background, and what, what you've learned through the years, and how you raised your family. I mean, today. Hard work. Hard work, and seeing some of all the kids got a good life, and so you didn't get a run again.